Hello everyone. Were you aware that the majority of seafood available in today's markets or supermarkets is farmed rather than caught in the wild? Shrimp, fish, crabs and numerous other types of seafood are predominantly cultivated in sea farms, a practice that both safeguards the ecosystem and fulfills market demands. Today, let's delve into how a grouper farm operates through our featured video. Grouper farms come in various models, some utilize floating or submerged cages, while others incorporate large tanks to allow fish freedom of movement. The predominant trend in grouper farming is the establishment of outdoor sea farms. Moreover, researchers are exploring and innovating land-based marine fish farms utilizing closed systems. By implementing an automated seawater circulation system, large storage tanks equipped with oxygen aeration systems sustain optimal oxygen levels for the fish. Leveraging state-of-the-art equipment Individuals maintain the fish in an ideal living environment with precise temperature control. Although this farming method has yet to be widely adopted, it represents a significant stride in the seafood industry. Not only does it preserve natural ecosystems, but it also mitigates the risks that fish face in the wild. In this envisioned future, where human reliance on nature diminishes, grouper farms primarily sustain their fish with trash fish, including termites, anchovies, herring and catfish. To ensure the health of farmed fish, these trash fish must be fresh, undergoing purification and parasite removal through soaking in fresh water before feeding to prevent disease transmission. Additionally, farms often preserve trash fish by freezing it, later grinding and pressing it into pellets resembling dry food for feeding. Grouper are typically fed twice daily, in the morning and afternoon, with bait spread slowly to facilitate easy consumption by the fish. Feeding quantities are adjusted based on the fish's weight, with small fish receiving 10% of their body weight and larger fish receiving 3 to 5 percent. However, in instances of weather or environmental changes or disease outbreaks, fish may exhibit reduced appetites, prompting adjustments in feeding quantities accordingly. Harvesting occurs after nine to 10 months of rearing, depending on the grouper species. During harvesting, nets are raised slowly to angle the fish towards collection. 
soft nets are utilized to avoid damaging the fish's scales or causing injuries, as such injuries can diminish the fish's value. Harvested fish are then transferred to tanks and transported to processing plants or restaurants. For long distance transportation, fish are stored in ice boxes to maintain their freshness. Following harvesting, grouper fish are transported to processing factories where skilled workers meticulously remove the bones and skin, leaving behind only the succulent meat. Subsequently, the meat undergoes a thorough cleansing process in a jacuzzi before proceeding to the packaging stage. Frozen marine fish products are highly favoured by consumers due to their convenience and extended shelf life. Additionally, fresh grouper is directly shipped to restaurants, catering to diners who appreciate the taste of fresh seafood. The nutritional richness of grouper meat, containing essential vitamins and amino acids, such as omega-3 and omega-6, contributes to the development of the nervous system and cognitive function, making it an ideal dietary choice for both the elderly and children. Moreover, grouper can be prepared in numerous culinary styles, further enhancing its versatility. Not only is it a high-value economic product, but it also holds symbolic significance, particularly during the auspicious first days of the Chinese year, where it represents luck and prosperity. Being invited to enjoy grouper dishes signifies great respect in many cultures. We genuinely appreciate your support and enthusiasm for our channel. Your continued viewership means the world to us and we are committed to providing valuable content that enriches your knowledge and endeavours. Thank you wholeheartedly for being a part of our community.